going on? Chill with Dan Squad. It's your boy Ant back with you guys with another video. So we're going to check out how Rock Lee put the dog in underdog against Gara in Naruto. Like this is probably one of the best fights, and most likely Rock Lee. When I saw this fight, Rock Lee versus Gara. Oh my God, Rock Lee ran Gara's fade, bro. Like this, this is probably one of my favorite fights in like Naruto hit history when it comes to it but i know for a fact this was absolutely ridiculous what rock lee did to him boy astronomically ridiculous but enough wasting time we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love support you guys have been showing to the channel i love y'all so much and if you're new to the channel y'all already know what to do run the like subscribe all that good stuff and let's get into this video oh yeah it's about time we talk about that boy rock lee and what better fight to do it than this one so let's get into it. Let's do it. So after the worst track run of fights of all time happened, I'm talking Sakura versus Eno, Naruto versus Kiba, and Neji versus Hinata. Kishimoto said, hold up, enough of these NyQuil fights. I gotta hit him with that heat. And he got to it. So boom, that random ass HD flat screen TV they had started selecting fighters. And the first fighter it selected was Gara. And you know what he does? He hits this little teleportation thing to go to the middle of the arena. You know he couldn't <laughs> wait to do that shit. And I can't blame him. After watching those three weak ass fights, I gotta keep my mind occupied somehow. I'd be on my Vegeta time in two, taking my time figuring out how to pull up. The TV started selecting the next fighter and 99% of the remaining fighters were not trying to see him in the ones. So nope. you know they were out there sweating. They but notice how I said 99 because one was straight up ready and his name is Rock Lee. Mm -hmm. He's selected and look at what he's doing. He's up there shadow boxing, no fear in his heart. He said, I'm built for this. He jumps down to the middle and hits that iconic pose. Oh, and let man. me warn you, if you ever get into an altercation, that's the thing too. If you ever get in those type of moments, they hit that Rock Lee pose on you, hit the Jets. Cause trust and believe me, if you don't, you're catching the fade and you're getting dog, bro. I'm telling y'all right now. Vacation and they start hitting the Rock Lee pose run. They probably be in the gym five hours a day minimum. <laughs> For oh your own safety, God, walk away. But before the fight even starts, I need to talk about Gara's teammates, Tamari and Kankaroo, or however you say it. Because they are really some elite level haters. Facts. The fight ain't even start yet, and Kankaroo in the back talking about, Sell your friend with this shitty haircut, he'll never be Gara. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. I know Naruto in his head is just like, Oh my god, bro, is dick riding all you do? <laughs> because this shit is outrageous, and don't get me started on Tamari. Because Kishimoto takes us through her thoughts and she was really talking about his kicks are weak as hell. Like, bro, what was wrong with his kicks? And the crazy Facts. part is if he seen either of them in the ones, he would have packed them up and went on to the next. He would have ran their fade easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just keep it a buck. And which, I, by the way, Tamari is still the bad baddie in Naruto, hands down. Next round. But let's get into it. The Please. Proctor's in the middle like, ready? Fight. Box. And Rock Lee starts rushing him, holding that W key. But I know you see Gar with his arms folded. And we know good and well, if someone is standing still and not moving, 99% of the time, your Dang. attack is not going to work. Nah. And that's exactly what happened. He tried hitting him with the Leaf Hurricane and that shit did not work. He gets blocked and Gara tries to attack him. But Lee is quick on his feet, so he moves out the way. And I know you see him doing those backflips. He's not taking that screen time for granted. Nope. He out here doing the most trying to get more minutes, but he had no nice. idea what Kishimoto had in store for him. So after getting blocked, Lee is just like, damn, he blocking my shit with this hand. Whoa, really? I'm I'm thinking bro about to pull up with a whole new game plan after stating that obvious ass shit, but he doesn't. He just runs back at him with no new strategy, no changes, and gets his shit blocked. And it's crazy yeah. how we found out later that the Santa Sant does this shit because of his mother continuing to protect bro long after she's gone. She's really looking up with a controller perfect carrying every attack. Yep. This man Rock Lee was doomed from the start. The odds were always stacked against him. This damn near a 2v1. This is unfair. So after a couple yep. more attempts, shit was clearly not going anywhere. Bro yep. even tried taking out his kunai like an apex heirloom. And he started swigging at the sand. He was out there doing anything bro. On my first watch this had me thinking like damn maybe Gara's hating ass teammates were right maybe Lee wasn't all that but then again no. he's a dude with no ninjutsu going against the number one prospect like his life is already hard enough they hoeing him and I'm not gonna lie you can't tell me the tuning exams were not rigged let's look at the top three prospects Gara, 
Neji, and Sasuke. They got Sasuke going against a Sound Village NPC, Neji going against Hinata, and no disrespect to Rock Lee, but on paper, Gara going against Lee is ludicrous. Oh, Homie shouldn't boy. have stood a chance. Nope. I know you saw that attendance. Their whole goal was to sell out the arena. This shit is fixed. That TV over there? Yeah, that shit is not random. Anyways, Gara trips Rock Lee and tries to crush him. But Lee gets out and kneels on the statue like he's some superhero. And this is where Mike Guy comes in talking about, all right, bro, you could take those heavy ass weights off. Not gonna lie though, I know he's your sensei and all, but those shits would have been off. Do you see who they got me fighting? This demon ass kid who no one played catch with? I'm not taking my chances. So Gara's hating ass teammate Tamari is sitting there talking about those weights are weak as hell and they're not about to make a difference. But Shorty ate her words because once those weights hit the floor, it had everyone shocked. But look at Gara though. He really hit him with the no till bro move now look at him he like hey yo why he disappear lee starts hitting around bro just toying with him and look at gar the thought of him having to actually box is killing him right now he knows he's about to get exposed for having no hands the sand is barely keeping up and that's how you know his mom is down in hell sweating right now trying to keep up with every hit got her working overtime lee starts circling gara and is like oh yeah it's time i finally get my lick back starts hitting the sonic and puts the back of his heels to the back of his head making him look straight down got his ass emoting he hitting the dad and look at my guy back there he hyped his shit and i would be too because lee out there cooking up in his outfit lee said uh i'm not finished hits gara's stupid ass with a crossover and is like hey are your dumb ass looking gara gets socked clean in the face that shit had gara flying he is the ground and i'm not gonna lie that shit had me smiling i want to see lee win but what i didn't know at the time is gara had that batman level prep time because he had a backup plan the whole time if his auto defense failed him. Oh. And it was to coat himself in sand armor. And I couldn't even be mad. That was a good play. Good IQ. Facts. He's still a bitch though, but hey, good mm -hmm. IQ. The camera cuts to Gara and we see why no one wanted to play tag with this evil ass. Nope. Look at him. He out there tweaking. And the reason this scene be living rent free in my head is because the way this man Gara was breathing. I don't yep. know if y'all remember, but I'm going to play the clip right here. Please. Bro. Like, oh, nah, do you hear this man? I am out of there as soon as he starts doing that. You're crazy. But Lee had a plan. He was ready to end this shit in one move. Hey, real quick, thank you for 252K. He took the toilet paper off his arm and started circling him like how Pegasus be doing in Beyblade. And this man, Gar, really had the audacity to talk about, bro, what are you waiting for? With his arms folded sitting in the middle. Like, bro, all you do is sit there and stand because you got auto defense. You're boring as hell. This is why I say Gara's player comparison is Tim Duncan because even though they're elite as hell, they got the most boring play styles of all time. Fact. If you ever have trouble sleeping, put on some Tim Duncan highlights. I promise you it works like a charm. Lee goes in, hits him with an up tilt, which kicks him up in the air. Gara starts getting juggled up in the air like Isaac Newton didn't invent gravity and put him up to a place where he could die from fall damage. He wraps the toilet paper around Gara and tilts him down head first. Then he starts spinning and sending him to the ground. First time watching it, I thought it was over. He caught him. Look nope. at Gara. He looks like a broken face right now. So People in the stands were celebrating too. They thought evil has lost, but we all know what happened. Somehow, Brody is Houdini, and the thing that we see on the ground is an empty shell, yep. which means Rock Lee didn't do shit, and the match is not over. Uh -huh. I know Mike guy mad as hell right now. Lee executed the move just like he taught him, and that shit still ain't get him. Gara spawns right behind him and starts laughing maniacally. He sees bro with zero stamina and Brody started licking his lips. He sends sand at bro and that shit pushes him back. Then he starts laughing again and launches a whole sand tsunami at bro. Yeah, this shit was getting hard to watch and then it happened. They started showing us flashbacks of Rock Lee and it can only mean one thing. He's about to go crazy. But before I skip the flashback cutscenes, I need to talk about the one with Neji cause this was kind of crazy. This man Neji put the heel on his shoulder and started going to work. Whoa. Look at this, he hits him twice in the gut, headshots him, gut checks him again, and he ends it off with three more headshots like he did not have to do Lee that dirty. So after the flashbacks, they take us right back to the fight. Gara attacks Lee and bro moved out the way fast as hell. And you know bro is confident cause he has his back turned to him right now. Gara said man that shit's a fluke, tries to attack him four more times, but he too is Weave Nation certified. After all those misses, Rock Lee starts to charge up. And Gara's like, I don't know what you think you're planning, but you're not a Super Saiyan gang. It's over. And Lee hits him with the, you are right. It is over. 
Bro starts charging up. He opens oh. up the third gate, and that shit got him looking crazy. Oh, this is yeah. not someone you want to fuck with. Nope. And Gara soon found that out. Lee opens up the fourth gate and charges right at him. He launches Gara straight up, and Gara is just chilling peacefully in the air. Rock Lee hits him with the jump scare and starts juggling Bro around the arena. Neji is sitting there terrified as hell because he was out there greasing Lee back then. He didn't know he could do all that. And trust and believe me, if Rock Lee was fighting Neji, oh yeah, I can guarantee you, yeah, Rock Lee would have run that dude's pockets as well. And the crazy part is Lee said he was saving this for Neji. That boy See? Lee was out here plotting murder. If Neji fought Lee using the gates, he would have died. But hey, like at least I that said. death would be 20 times better than his original one. Bro established himself as a pencil holder before he went out. That shit crazy. <laughs> Lee goes in front of Gara, says psych, and hits him with the mean duck punch, oh. sending him beaming down. But Lee wasn't finished. Nope. He made Gara hit the Gwen and pulls him oh. towards him. Hitting him with a punch and a kick simultaneously, completing the hidden lotus and sending him to the ground. But this is where true pain happens, cause Gara had the gourd which was made out of sand and it cushioned the impact, making him survive that shit. And it was oh, GG. Look at Lee, yeah. he's on all fours oh and is out God. of energy. Gara's <laughs> bitch ass uses the last of his sand to crush his arm and leg, trying to end Bro's whole career. Gara already pissed the whole block off with that shit, but homie yeah. said I got one more in me. This time, he tried to put him to sleep for good. I had to look away cause I couldn't Insane. watch him go. But thankfully, Mike guy comes in and saves him. Since yep. he stepped in, it gave Gara the automatic win, but we okay. don't care. Because yep. the only thing that matters is that Lee is alive. Yep. He starts to walk off, and bro, this is how you know Rock Lee has that dog in him, because Thanks. he gets back up bleeding, Yo. in his stance, completely unconscious. That man is truly different. Anytime he somebody talks about Rock bro. Lee, they gonna start every sentence off with... He was a good man. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> Rock Lee, he really proved that he is him. Even though he got um, violated by Gara, and most likely he stood back up while his his one of his leg and arm is still messed up and still has the pose. Yo, Rock Lee, he was built different. He really proved that he really was him. Like, but overall, he really proved that he was built different but that's gonna do it for this video if you enjoyed this video so much comment down below what do you enjoy from it i appreciate the time you guys watching this video with me and if you have any videos that you want me to react to you already know what to do send them my way i'll do my best to react to them and put them out as soon as possible i love y'all so much for showing love to my channel if you're new to the channel you already know what to do leave a like run up the view subscribe tap the bell every time i post i love y'all so much i'll catch y'all in the next video thanks for chilling with me peace